Sarton Therapeutics is transforming standard of care therapies with proprietary dermal delivery technology so people with cancer can receive continuous treatment to live better and longer. With me is Pedro Lichtinger, the CEO of Starton Therapeutics and Doug Anderson, CEO of Wall Street Capital, and also on the board of advisors uh, for the company as well. So, Pedro, did I, I got to get a, a, an explanation of what you're doing there, right? It's a skin delivery medicine yeah. that your company is providing. So t fill in the details. How does that work? Well, first, we, we take highly successful medicines and transform by delivering them continuously into more efficacious, better tolerated drugs so that patients can live longer, better. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's like a patch or something? Well, we have a multiple technologies in development. Okay. Uh, we have a transdermal patches that stay uh, uh, attached to you for multiple of days. Let's say every week you change your patch. Uh, we have what's called wearable pumps, okay. which is for some drugs, you need to go through the subcutaneous route rather than just permeate the skin. Mm -hmm. And uh, for those drugs, the wearable uh, uh, patches need to be replaced every three days, or at the very least, we need to change the site of injection. Okay. And you know, injection sounds terrible, but mm -hmm. the, the sub doesn't really uh, bother you. Yeah. Uh, so it's the same concept for different types of medicines. And then for very complex medicines, we actually also have what's called ambulatory pumps, which is a, a pump the, a, that is attached to your belt or you, you carry over your shoulder. And remember, we're treating horrible diseases. Mm -hmm. So it sounds terrible to wear an ambulatory pump, but people wear them today uh, for pain uh, uh -huh. uh, medicine, and, and they worked extremely well. They are FDA registered. Wearable pumps are also FDA registered. They're used uh, for for uh, diabetes, for the delivery of uh, insulin, and of course transdermal patches, there are about 30 to 40 that are registered with the FDA that deliver continuously yeah. in the bloodstream. And then how is that advantageous to have like the dermal patch or like, uh, how is that treatment better for the patient? Sorry. Well, let me explain. Uh, you know, when you take an oral pill, mm. you take a very high dose so you can compensate for the continuous metabolism of the body of the drug. Mm. So uh, some drugs have what's called a three hour half-life, the one we're targeting actually does. Mm. And, uh, and that means that uh, every three hours, 50% of what we took goes away from the body. So if you're taking this drug every 24 hours, by the 12th hour, you fall below the minimum efficacious level. Okay. And by the 14th, 15th hour, you basically have no more detectable levels in your system. Mm. In cancer, that means that cancer cells have a, a significant period of the day, every day, where they're not under attack. And uh, that means they can build resistance, they can recover, okay. and at the beginning, you have very high levels that lead to significant side effects. I see, okay, so it sounds like it works in a lot of ways. Um, you know, eliminating the side effects, but then also the continuous treatment of the cells that might be more efficient. As well, well I, I would go further than might because we have shown in mm. preclinical models, in the standard preclinical model for multiple myeloma, which is the, the you know, a cancer of the bloodstream, uh, that, that uh, we, were, we had unprecedented results. Okay. Uh, when we uh, implant tumor, it, tumors in, uh, in mice and do not give any medicine, the tumors grew 25-fold and then the mice die. die. Uh, when, we, when we treat them with Revlimid, they were able to contain it to fivefold. Uh -huh. When we treat them with the same drug continuously, the tumors actually shrank 81%. Wow, interesting. I'm glad you mentioned that because I was going to ask you about clinical trials and what you have seen. So, Doug, let's bring you in here real quick. Startin is a game changer. It is a game changer. I don't know if you know this about me, but for over 20 years, I've worked in cancer uh, on the charitable side. Oh. I've raised tens of millions of dollars mm -hmm. for uh, cancer research, uh, both as a trustee at Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center in Seattle, Washington, and with Strang, the oldest uh, cancer prevention center in the United States. Strang invented the PAP test, mm -hmm. which has saved more people from cancer as a preventative than all other cancer preventatives combined. So I know a lot about this space. This is the first time, the first time I've ever 
joined a company to help push uh, a remedy in cancer. And the reason why is uh, I don't mind taking money for a charitable reason. I know the risk is high. Cancer is a very difficult challenge. And I just never felt comfortable putting those dollars at risk for, from a, an investor point of view. But in this case, I absolutely do because it's a game changer. These guys have figured a way to deliver the drug so that they can tolerate it. And so 30% of the people that just go away to go home and die can now have a chance. All right, thank you so much, Doug thank and you. Pedro. Best of thank luck, you. it's really important Thank you. work. Thank you. Thank you.